Hi, I'm Grant from Blackmagic Design and I wanted to do a very quick update on Blackmagic Pocket Cameras today. Now first off we've got a new camera software update, it's called Blackmagic Cameras 7.9 and it supports the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, 6K and 6K Pro models. Now we've worked really hard on this update. Um, the most important change is probably the user interface has been redone, it's been totally upgraded. Uh, but it also includes lots of small improvements. Um, there's a slider now for adjusting focus assist intensity. That's great when you're working with lenses that have different frequency responses. Uh, you can now select between SD and SSD media on the um, cards from the LCD, like just by pushing the button on the LCD itself. Uh, the colour of the frame guides can be changed. Uh, there's actually improvements to the lens control. Um, even the autofocus has been improved. We've also added support for the Blackmagic Zoom and Blackmagic Focus demands. Now normally they work with the Blackmagic Studio cameras, but now they actually work with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras. And that's great because the cameras also work as studio cameras with ATEM mini switches. So it's really nice. Plus there's actually a cool secret feature that's been hiding in these pocket cameras and we've never really used it until now. Now all these cameras actually have a gyro sensor built in and all three models have it. So now you can record data from the gyro sensor into the Blackmagic RAW file. And we'll actually have an update for DaVinci Resolve really soon that'll actually use that gyro data. Plus the Blackmagic RAW developer SDK has also been updated to support that. But what's exciting is Blackmagic, uh, sorry, DaVinci can use this gyro data to stabilize shots and it makes the stabilizer much better. Um, so what it'll do is it'll stabilize the footage using some new AI based algorithms as well as the gyro data. And it actually, it kind of looks like a bit like a Steadicam when you, you know, see the result. So let me show you. I've actually got um, a clip that's been used, uh, that's been stabilized with the gyro sensor data. So if we can play the clip, I can show you the clip. So you can see this is a shot, originally it was a handheld shot. Uh, and you can see that you know, it's got a bit of wobble in it and, um, and now we'll cut to a stabilized version of the shot in a second and there's the stabilized version. Um, now the camera is actually storing the movement data as, metadata, as a metadata track in the Blackmagic RAW file and then the stabilizer can use that data. So you can see that shot there and this again is another uh, original shot that's handheld and then you'll see that uh, coming up is then we've applied the stabilizer to it and you can then see the stabilized version there it is there and it's, this looks really nice, it's just, it's so nice. It's really cool, it's just, Really like, uh, just beautiful. I mean, having that stabilization data is really nice. So another great feature in this update is that um, the custom presets and lookup tables are now retained. So when you do a future software update, the camera won't clear them. At the moment it clears them. Um, now this update, they'll actually be reset, but on future updates after that, they'll be retained. And I think that'll just be nice. So overall, this is a really exciting software update. It has so many small improvements. Uh, so this software update will be available free of charge. It'll support the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, 6K and 6K Pro models. And Blackmagic Camera Update 7.9 will be available today. Now I want to talk about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera family. Now there's such a great range of cameras. The latest model that we introduced was the 6K Pro model. And it's been popular because it had a lot of really advanced cinema camera features. However, we felt like the standard 6K model really needed an update. Originally it was actually arrived from the 4K model. Uh, but we wanted to really move technology from the 6K model down to the, to the uh, 6K Pro model down to the 6K model. And so we've done that. We have a new 6K model. It replaces the current 6K model, but it's derived from the 6K Pro model. So let me show it to you. I'll bring it out. So it is there. So you can see it's very similar to the 6K Pro model. So let me get a close up of that. Um, you can see from the design point of view, it's actually the same. It has the same controls. So it's really for me to use. So there's the front there. And, uh, I'll show you the rear. Yeah, it has uh, very similar at the year at the rear. It has the same amazing 6K sensor. You know, it's um, it's also got the upgraded Generation 5 color science from the 12K camera, so it produces amazing cinematic images. Um, so let's uh, let's what I'll do is I'll put it down on the desk here. There it is there. Um, now the main difference is um, that it doesn't have the ND filters. A lot of people don't like ND uh, built-in ND filters as they add them to the lenses uh, when they're rigging the camera up. So, you know, it's nice to have a model without them. Um, and it means you don't have to pay for ND filters if you don't need them. Now, this model has a standard LCD screen, but it's also adjustable, so it tilts up and down, um, which is really nice to have such a big screen on a handheld camera. Um, makes it really easy to focus. I'll turn the camera on. Um, it's also got the, uh, there you can, I'll show you the uh, screen there, you can see. So it's got that same tilt out screen. Um, there it is there. Um, now it's also got uh, the larger NPF uh, 570 Sony style battery. Um, so it supports longer battery life because it's a bigger battery. And that's really important when you want to record to external discs, which a lot of people do, because the camera powers the disc, so it's really nice to have more power. 
Now, it also supports the optional electronic viewfinder. It's called the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera Pro EVF, and it's the same viewfinder that works on the uh, 6K Pro model. Um, and it bolts on top of the camera, you can see there. Um, now, it's a professional viewfinder with uh, a glass lens. Now, viewfinders often will have uh, plastic lenses and they can scratch really easily, but this, is, this lens is glass, so it looks amazing. It's incredibly clear and allows incredibly precise focus. You can see the, the focus adjustments just under there, so you can focus it to your, to your eye by rotating it. Rotating it there. Um, now, because it's professional, it actually includes four different eyepieces, which I've got a, a shot. I'll put a slide up. Uh, the guys will put a slide up. Um, so you can see that uh, it's designed for professionals. Um, and they're included, those eyepieces are included with the viewfinder, so you don't have to buy them separately. Uh, plus, there's also a digital focus chart built in for perfecting the focus adjustment of the viewfinder. Um, so you can select that focus chart in the menus and it'd get a really, really accurate focus. Um, it's based on a really bright OLED display, and the display will turn off when it's not being used. Uh, and when you use the viewfinder, the actual main LCD will also turn off to save some battery power. So it has all the other great pocket camera features. It has that wonderful 6K low light sensor. It has the EF lens mounts. It works with Canon style lenses. Uh, it records to internal cards and external USB discs. It's got, uh, includes 3D LUTs. Uh, it records the Blackmagic RAW files with the Generation 5 color science. It supports ProRes recording. It's, it runs based on Blackmagic OS. Obviously, it has the same software update that we're just releasing for the, for the other cameras. It's got lots of focus assist features. You know, it's got false color, histogram, zebra, frame guides, focus peaking, the whole lot. And it also has the studio camera features, um, such as a built-in DaVinci primary color corrector that works with the ATEM mini switches. Um, so it's actually a production camera and a studio camera in the one design. So it's really, really flexible. Now, it still supports the SD cards and CFast cards, which we have on, on the side here. Yeah, I can open that up and show you. There it is there, that's the same. And on the other side, it has, I don't know if you can get a shot there, on the other side it has the same connections as the 6K Pro model. So there's an HDMI monitor output which allows you to do overloads for high-end film use. There's the USB for recording to external flash disks. There's the headphone connector, the video mic connector, and it has two separate uh, XLR, mini XLR connectors for professional audio. Um, plus you can, um, you know, lean the two separate uh, XLR inputs mean you can plug in two microphones and it even supports phantom power. Um, now, it also supports the new battery grip for the 6K Pro model, so it holds the extra two batteries. I've got one over here. Um, and it supports the same batteries the camera uses, so you can interchange all your batteries. And it just bolts onto the bottom of the camera. Now, the new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K G2 will be priced at $1995. So it's actually the same price as the on model just replaced. It's in stock now and available. And of course, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera Pro EVF is $495, and that's available. And the battery grip is uh, 145. And yeah, they're all available now. Also, look out for DaVinci Resolve beta update in like the next day or so that will support the Blackmagic RAW files from this camera. And also, the Blackmagic RAW SDK will be posted on our website. So when developers need that, that'll be available today as well. Uh, so we think the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K G2 is a really nice update for the model. So that's all we have today, just these, these, uh, the software update and the new camera. So I hope you like the new camera software if you're running Blackmagic Pocket Cameras and you download it. Uh, I think it's a really nice update with lots of small improvements, but they all add up to a big update. Uh, and we also hope you like the new Pocket Cinema Camera 6K G2 model. So I can't wait to see how these things are used. That's always the most exciting part is actually seeing what people do with it. So that's all. So uh, please take care and thanks for watching. Bye.